Welcome to the Learn to Monetize More video series. I'm Megan, and in this video tutorial, we're going to teach you how to create Google Ad Exchange ad tags that you'll later upload into the DoubleClick for Publishers or DFP ad server. From within DFP, you'll then be able to monitor and manage them. Creating tags from networks such as Google Ad Exchange is at the heart of any thriving DFP setup. The objective of this tutorial is to show a sample high-level use case of DFP at the order level. This is the second in our series of DFP videos that will help you turn into a DFP expert in no time. The first step is to plan the types of ad tags you'll want to implement and to record them into a notepad document or spreadsheet. It's important to name your tags in a meaningful way to both identify them and keep track of them. You'll want to develop a systematic nomenclature for these tags. We recommend you divide the tag into components and stick with the same system for all your tags. For instance, we've developed the following sample tag name, CH1, AdX, Monetize More, Top, 728 by 90. Notice that we use underscores to separate our labels, as you cannot incorporate spaces into the tag names. We'll dissect this tag to explain our methodology. CH1 stands for Channel 1. AdX stands for Google Ad Exchange. Monetize More represents our company. Top represents top of the page. And finally, 728 by 90 represents our ad size. Of course, you can make your tags either simpler or more descriptive. That's entirely up to you. Most important is that once you've created a system, you stick with it. Such a system will make organization and identification much easier. Now that we've developed our nomenclature, let's go ahead and log into our DoubleClick Ad Exchange account. Note that if you are a Monetize More Publisher partner, we will create the tags in our master account and provide them to you. Hence, you don't need to continue further in this video. For those of you dealing with your own Ad Exchange account, let's proceed to the next step. Navigate to your Inventory tab and click Add New Tag. Now, go back to the document where you created the tag names and simply copy and paste. Next, click Save and Get Code. You'll want to store this code into a text file so that it can be easily copied and pasted later. Simply repeat until you're finished. Once copied onto your text file, these tags will provide the creatives through which you'll create your orders. We'll be covering the topic of orders in a future video tutorial coming soon. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.